<rire> Bonjour. <rire> I'm Red from Harvest Finance. I'm the community manager and, and foreman for the project. So we are um, a co-managed community project. So we work hand in hand with the developers who are anonymous and then uh, essentially the community members um, run all day-to-day -day operations of the project, which includes me. That's a good question. Um, it can be very complex. I think one of the most critical parts of DeFi is ensuring your code is on the blockchain so it can be verified um, by independent parties. And that's really what makes um, this a trustless system that anybody can enjoy without fully understanding the complexities. Um, you have those independent parties like auditors or people in the, the community who are very well versed in the code itself that they can actually do these verifications and you don't really have to rely on developers saying, hey, this is um, how the protocol works and this is why it's safe. You can actually see it directly on the blockchain. Uh, yield farming is just basically putting your stagnant money to work um, to try to generate passive income. So if you can kind of think of like, almost like credit card rewards, um, some credit cards offer you points or money back for using their, their product. Um, yield farming is using products in DeFi to collect rewards and then some users may um, keep those rewards because they think that project's going to do well or maybe they just instantly sell those rewards to profit um, so they can continue to grow the, the base amount that they deposited. Um, I, I think what's unique about Harvest Finance is that it's just very con community driven. Um, so outside of, let's say, like the, the website or the core product that's being um, created by the developers, all other things are, are maintained by the community. So just continuing to expand um, our community, which includes other projects. We recently are collaborating with AP Wine Finance or Complify, um, just working with different projects um, and connecting through our community. All of those collaborations are delivered by our community members, and that's what helps to grow our ecosystem. Um, the biggest advice would be to always do your own research and don't listen to some celebrity or some YouTube video promising huge gigantic returns. Um, you should really try to have some basic understanding of what you're putting your money into um, and don't just go try chasing the next golden ticket because unfortunately there are some scams um, within crypto um, that really give the legitimate projects a bad name. So I would just really make sure that you're making the decision yourself and not letting some celebrity or some video you watch make the decision for you. I think it's just, again, not doing your own research in crypto and just chasing after the, the big dollar amounts. Um, and then also not understanding some of the technical pieces, like if you mispaste a, a crypto address and click send, um, that money can be gone forever, right? So just understanding some of the nuances, make sure you're double checking every step that you're about to perform, asking yourself, do I really wanna make this trade? Or did I really do my, enough research into this project that I'm about to surrender $5,000 of my hard earned money? So, you know, protect that money like you would be thinking about handing it to a stranger on the street, right? Like you don't wanna just give that money away. Oh, I was actually um, introduced by my brother-in-law. He was talking about Ethereum and smart contracts. I heard about Bitcoin a, a long time ago, but I thought it was like magic internet money and I, I, thought, I thought it was silly. But then when I heard about the premise of smart contracts um, and be able to essentially build organizations that live on the internet that nobody can really intervene with, I thought that was a really cool concept. And like the one that really always clicked with me was like a casino. If you could just take what's in Las Vegas, but put it on the blockchain, and now to globalize with kind of like this united currency in Ethereum, like how much more revenue or people could you reach? How many more barriers could you rise up over, which is like regulation typically preventing people from like participating in sports gambling, right? So um, I think uh, DeFi and blockchain really opens up that opportunity.
Oh no. Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs>